Well, Zetra ruled, yeah, and now Rob rules, you know. <laughs> Gary Holt or Kirk Hammett? Um, now I'd have to go with Gary, yeah. <laughs> and not, not because, you know, you know, I'm in the band with him or anything. I mean, I, even back in the day, I mean, I really liked his style better. Not, not that a lot of people slam Kirk, and I think, I think he's great too. I mean, he's got his his own style, and you know, so it's like when whenever he plays a solo, you know, it's him, and then that's a big accomplishment because there's a lot of guitar players out there that, you know, they can shred like, you know, like crazy, but you don't know who it is. I mean, it could be you know, a hundred different guys that can do those sweeps and all that stuff. But, you know, when Kirk plays, I mean, everybody knows it's him. And, you know, having your own style, that's that's big. Uh, what do you guys think of Devin Thousand strapping on Lad? I mean, I love that. I mean, cause he's, he's, he's just crazy, insane, maniac, you know, mad scientist guitar player singer i mean he, he does just crazy stuff it's really cool uh megadeth or metallica nah, i would have to go with metallica i mean obviously they're early stuff you know i, I, mean, I always prefer you know metallica over megadeth i mean on a lot of different levels you know uh, <laughs> Mustaine or Hatfield? Up, ah, come on, come on, Hatfield. I mean, it's, that's just that's just silly, you know. I mean, I know I know Dave thinks. I mean, that he's the best guitar player, and, and he's he's great. Don't get me wrong, but James is just the rhythm god, and, you know. And even when he plays solos, I mean, he can't shred like, you know, like Dave does. But you know, his note selection is just perfect, you know. Uh, Mustaine is a better musician, songwriter. I would have to disagree. I mean, James is just, you know, I think he's a better songwriter and singer, yeah. Dave's better. Did you try out for Megadeth? Yeah, I did. I did, you know, it was kind of a mess. <laughs> Uh, that you know that was like the really dark times in in Megadeth history. Uh, have you ever met James Hetfield? Yeah, of course. I mean, grew up together, kind of. You know, I mean, in the same scene, but I mean, not not as of late. I mean, last time I saw James, it was uh, when we played at the House of Blues, and they were recording. We were on the same flight going to L.A. You know. I invited him to come to the show, but, you know, I guess Lars didn't allow him to show up or something. I don't know. Yeah, enough Metallica questions. Yeah, thank you. Uh, what's your favorite Slayer record? Mm, Rain and Blood, come on. I mean, that's, that's easy. Um... <laughs> Exodus Testament co-headline, yeah, well, yeah, like I said, we, we don't book the shows, you know, I mean. Uh, did you ever meet the guys from Nevermore or Annihilator? I, I did meet the Annihilator guys, uh, not Nevermore guys. Do you like Death Clock? Yeah, of course, I oh, yeah. You guys should be on the tour with Slayer, Megadeth, and Testament. Well, yeah, that's what everybody keeps saying, you know, but, you know, we kind of had prior commitments, you know, and with Arch Enemy at the same time, so, you know, maybe maybe in the next leg or something. Are we going to do some more work today? Yeah. Yeah, let's come up. Uh, what do you think of file sharing? That, yeah, I mean, I don't, personally don't do it. I, I think it kind of hurts music in some ways, but in, in some ways it helps too. I mean, you know, some unknown band can just spread through underground from everybody just sharing files, you know. I mean, remember back in the day we used to just tra tape trade, you know, and that would take like, you know, if you tape trading tapes with somebody from Europe, it takes like two weeks to get to the States, you know. Now you can just email it and... Yeah, you know, so it, it could spread a lot faster. But I've been on for like forever, you know, and I, I got more solos to do. Uh, 
So it was nice chatting with you guys. Uh, we're going to have, what are we going to have tomorrow? Tomorrow. You know, Andy's going to come on and we're going to play. Six. We're going to play. Six o'clock. You know, what are, we, what are we doing? We're going to play. We're going to play a complete song. Yeah, we're going to play a complete song Unmixed, tomorrow. Of course. Unmixed, yeah. No. Andy's going to stay up all night and try to mix it. Yeah. <laughs> And uh, as far as the one-on-one -on -one with Andy, I mean, we're gonna, we're gonna work that out at some point. I mean, I know. Probably Sunday. For that. I know a lot of you've been asking that, so we, you know, we'll set that up at some point. All right. So thank you guys, and I'll see ya.